The truth is, I'm actually Superman in disguise, and I only pretend to be a journalist in order to hear about disasters as they happen and then squeeze you out of the byline. <laughs> Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Jackson Kurtz, in for Charlie Rose. It's a food trend that has taken over Chinatown here in New York City. Instagram infatuations with culturally inspired desserts. Since this newfound popularity on social media, these local shops are booming like never before. But what's behind these sweet treats and their massive success? CBS News correspondent Michaela Marshall has the story. Rock Chalk and Visual Hawk stages another protest today. KUJH reporter Jackson Kurtz is in the newsroom with the latest. Jackson? Thanks, Emma. Starting around 11 a.m., Rock Chalk and Visible Hawk started a protest moving through campus. The demonstrators started at Blake and Fraser Hall, walking into classrooms, asking for students to join the protests. The group moved to the School of Social Welfare, asking the dean to send an email calling for support for Invisible Hawk. Have you ever imagined what a Broadway musical would look would sound like if it was turned into a mixtape? Like imagine Les Mis turned into a French rapping Beastie Boys album. Or Fan of the Opera turned into some mix up some lyrics with Jay-Z. That would be awesome. I wish we had that. Oh wait. We do! With the Hamilton mixtape, for the last 12 hours, Twitter and music streaming services everywhere have exploded with the release of the Hamilton mixtape. The month of November. A time when families come together, the leaves fall, and people grow their hair out. I think it's awesome when people grow beards, you know. Just the one thing is, I got people a lot of times that'll come up and just start touching it. They want to grab it. It's like, just ask me. No Shave November, an entire month dedicated to not shaving your hair. November is coming up, like, okay, I'm going to do No Shave November and then I'll shave it off. And by the end of November, it was long enough, I was like, I got to keep going. This time of year, you know, you're not really supposed to line up any of the beards or anything if you really are in it, but a lot of the guys, they, they want them to look fashionable. You now this day and age, we actually sell a lot more beard oils, uh, beard balms, beard conditioners, you know, things like that. I actually texted you to do a carpool karaoke, and you did not text me back. It was a new phone who dis? Yeah, um, I don't think I got that text. If you would do it, what songs would you sing? Uh, probably some Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, maybe throw in some Adele, and uh, finish it off with, um, gotta be a rap song, maybe some Kanye. So hopefully it'll happen. Thanks, man. All right, thanks. Boys, bro, appreciate you having me. It's no all problem. love. You having me. We're here in your, <laughs> your <laughs> domain, man. Yeah, that's where we work. So I'm here on Wesco Beach asking people to show me a talent to win one dollar. Uh, I can belly dance. What will you do to win this dollar? Do you have a special talent? I can dance. The Rat Pack is back. Visited Kansas City to relive the area. Welcome to Kansas City. Ah, thank, thank you very much. And this is the birthplace of jazz music. Birthplace of jazz music. Birthplace of jazz. All that jazz. Should we sing it together? That's right. I said we. And then they nursed it. They rehearsed it, and then get out the mood. Down in the DM to see if people know how to rap. This is So You Think You Can Rap. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arm heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's. Nope. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. <laughs> yep. He's from New York, I'm from LA, but we go both go to school in Ann Arbor. We're all over the place and we support our squad. Like, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna edit it all out later, don't worry about it. 